All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to day two, the final day of the whole tournament itself. This is the FSL Open Valorant 3. And yeah, what a day it was yesterday, Quack. Yeah. What a day. I mean, yeah. a lot of 13-0s, man. Yeah. You know what that means today. Yeah, it means that these teams are here for glory. They are not joking around because these teams are actually playing it to win it. And right now, I think we're going to be able to see the brackets just for a little bit as well. If you look at it closely, the top eight remaining teams here right now. We have Rain, Alternative Lady, Girls With Love, Celeste, Anbu Babes, Banhei Baidep, as well as Golden Flower and Seven Sins. And Seven Sins were the reigning champion uh, of the previous season. Yeah, for sure. And uh, dude, you nailed that pronunciation. <laughs> but I, but <laughs> dude, I, I did my, uh, you know, practice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I think a lot of these teams are gonna be uh, the ones to keep an eye out for, especially Seven Sins and maybe even actually BHBD. We saw them yesterday. Yeah. They had quite the performance. Thirteen O's all across the board. Yeah, I actually um, got some statistics here. Anbu Bix yes, actually went trio, three actually. zero in their group stages, and they uh, scored a round total of thirty nine to five. So they only lost five rounds in the total of their matches. And uh, right now, for Banhei Beidep, they actually won three zero as well, mm. but they won thirty nine to four. To four. So in theory, <laughs> in theory. Man Hei <laughs> should be just tiny. It's just a just tiny, tiny bit. It's a tiny bit better. Uh, but right now, I think the players are actually ready to go straight into the match itself. And the first map is going to be Haven. Haven. Yeah. It's best of three. I mean, That's right. They're going to have a lot of chances to prove themselves. Uh, it's going to be PHC versus Vietnamese. So, you know. These girls are ready to bring it today. But I do have to correct myself yesterday. I believe I mentioned on stream that uh, uh, this was the final FSL Valorant Open of the year. <laughs> that is incorrect. It's not the final one. So if you guys want to keep your eyes out for more uh, FSL Valorant action, be sure to drop the page a like uh, over on Facebook.com slash FSL FPS games. Unfortunately, we, we did not ab we're not able to actually, you know, watch uh, Banhei Beidep slash, I mean, uh, Anbu Babes matches yesterday, but we yeah. did see Banhei Beidep and this guy, uh, this girl right here, Barley. Barley. Remember Barley? Yeah. Killjoy. She was killing it yesterday on Especially Seaside. On Haven. Yeah, yeah, and now she's actually doing it again. The seaside strat. as well, same thing. But also, Anbu Babes, I mean, this is not their first time in FSL. Yeah. They've played them before, and I believe they were... Pros, like competitive point blank players, which is another uh, free to play FPS game. So see, that's the thing, right? When you have like that kind of experience already, and when it comes to just uh, FPS games alone, it's pretty much set in stone for you already. All you, all you need to do is le just learn the uh, basics, like game sense and map sense, mm -hmm. and you just learn the maps. But because you already have that inbuilt FPS skills yes. already, so it's more of just uh, you know. That's the thing about Valorant. You want to keep your eyes out. Yeah. You want to learn how to really utilize the utility. Know how to come up with interesting strats, push together as a team, all this and that. And hopefully, hopefully, I believe we have seen a lot coming out from Barley yesterday and the rest of the team as well. It's going to be one heck of a game. So, you know, don't go anywhere. Y this is where you want to be. Watch these games. It's going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, so we're going to be casting one match of the quarterfinals, and then we're going to go straight into a semifinal match, and then we're going to go straight into the grand finals as well. And all matches, if I'm not mistaken, should be best out of three. Yes. And we have a long day, I feel, and I'm <laughs> super excited to be able to cast these matches, actually. Yeah, dude. Because we, we've talked about it earlier on yesterday as well. 13-0, 13-0, 13-0. So we would expect these games to be super close as well. Super, super close. Unless, you know... Unless, yeah, maybe yeah. there's going to be an upset, yeah. but uh, maybe not. Look at this. We already have the Concussive Blast shot out. The Lupio is ready with the Dark Cover and the Paranoia just to slow them down a little bit further. Paint Shells as well over into short. Although they're still kind of bunched up over our uh, short game. I think I'm rotating right yet. now. Looking to rotate. Catherine taking a little bit of damage. This is pretty smart, actually. If you look at it closely on the side A, they have already rotated really, really quickly. But remember, they yes. have a Killjoy. They have a Killjoy, and it's none other than Barley, who we saw yesterday performing super well. Pin Pong just looking to take a couple of shots. It's not going to connect, though, but the Nano Swarm. The Nano Swarm, Mayuri. 
falls. Calypso trading it off. Barley goes down. Now Bev will take down Calypso. And it's a 3v4 retake. Already hot in the trail. Catherine will take down Pinpong. Bev just falls right into the trap. Meiji and Catherine taking two down. And it's just trades back and forth. McCasey takes down Lupio to secure it for the team. Yeah, that was very smart plays. It was very, very patient with their first push they realize you know what there's like three members here on a i don't think it's a good idea for us to actually go onto a side and get their plant anyways they have actually used almost everything of the, the utility that they have the omen has used their flash on the mm. defensive side they also have used their flashes as well on the arena they only use one layer i do believe so and also the rays on the side of ban hebe Dep as well used all the utilities as well i think it's just a, a just a better idea to proceed back to see Yes, and uh, of course they get the spike down, and once they do that, all they have to do is defend. And coming in with the retakes just seemed like BHBD. They were a little bit too aggressive. You know, sometimes I think you want to coordinate a little bit better when you go in with a retake, but nonetheless, 1 0. Still not over. They have the Spectres, though. Calypso right now on the breach, and we've seen breach gameplays various amounts of times and you know how strong he is right now currently in this current patch Look closely here Bali does only have their eco wing right now the only ping pong as well as Amiya has the ghost it's really hard for them to actually push through this one flashes come through no one will get it whatsoever vulnerable really vulnerable actually but we'll be able to proceed oh, no. scot free and the there you go flank. yeah the flanks coming in the timing as well Catherine goes to the 3k now the only one alive is going to be none other than the Omen play over here. It's going to be Liu Pio and he, he, she's going to get taken out as well. And uh, that was just perfect timing. I mean, what can you do, right? You're ecoing that round, but you try to get as many kills as possible. But I felt like, you know, what can you do? There's really nothing There's much you can much do when you're playing. Eco. Yeah. I mean, I think the best case scenario you hope for is maybe secure uh, a little weapon of sorts. Yeah, I'm surprised Ami and Pinpong bought the ghost. So mm -hmm. they won't be able to buy a rifle this round. Yeah. Still holding on to yeah. that. Unfortunately, Bali has to uh, only buy light armor as well, half armor, because she had to buy a lot of utilities earlier mm. round. And that's the thing about Killjoy. But yeah. even then, uh, the way she's holding long with the Vandal, all she needs is a couple of headshots. And that could definitely be good enough, but we'll have to see how Anbu Babes play their offense this time. So far, they've been doing so good. Now, you can see they're trying to be a little bit careful. They know that BHBD are on the rifles. So, just doing a little bit of damage, trying to bait out uh, and overextend, get someone to give up their position, perhaps. But no, I think they're thinking like about yes. pushing towards A, yeah, it's which is split. actually not a bad idea if you look at it closely. And Lupio has already used her duck, uh, dark hover over on an A yeah. long. So, just waiting for the execute now, coordinating. Yeah, I think I think I think I think what's gonna happen here. Oh, that's oh. a dink onto its Mayuri's head. Tries oh, to go for flash. one more, but the flash is coming in. And now they have the entire site secured. Just looking to defend and position themselves carefully now. Secure the flank, secure CT and Heaven as well. Barley will be looking to do some damage over there from Heaven. Look at Ping Pong as well coming from behind. Ping Pong's gonna get noted by the tripwire as well. Mm. You can see, yep. There you called yeah. it. Yeah. And it's just. Managed to go there right in the nick of time. Take down Hit Pong. Barley's still alive though. Keep in mind, she does have light armor, so she doesn't have that much sustainability. The flash comes out. Even then, the advantage is still over an Amu oh, They need to get the defuse. The beautiful. flash buying a little bit of time, but Beth just coming in from the back. Catherine will fall. And that's gonna be the first I don't know if they can do it though. I don't think they have time. I think they. Oh, what? They don't no! have time. They did not have time. That's so unfortunate. They did not actually calculate that perfectly fine. They had three players. They could have just went for the Phoenix. I'm not really sure why they took so long to actually mm. push in. There was just maybe like 0 0.2 seconds yeah. left to actually. Uh, I actually thought that they would have gotten it. They, they would not be able to get it. They had so much time. Even they, they should know that they could have actually gone for it. I'm not really sure what happened there. I feel like there was just a little yeah. bit of miscommunication. They played that so well as well, and now they all three of them died, all right, on the site, That's and awesome. they lost all their guns. They lost all their guns. The economy is super painful right now. Yes, and this is going to be a force buy. So coming in on defense, they will have Spectres and uh, one Sheriff. Meanwhile, Andrew Babes, full rifles all across the board, and they're looking to do some damage. That was definitely some kind of miscommunication when you have 
three players uh, going up against one. You can definitely get someone to stick the defuse while their other two go and uh, provide some cover. Now it looks like the Boombot will signal to them that there is someone over in Garage, and that's going to be Ping Pong with the Sheriff. Yeah, Ping Pong took some damage from that ball bang as well, which is significantly really good. But look at the damage done on Mayuri. Already 5 HP. No Sage on their team as well, so this is going to be really, really hard for her to actually push through this. But as I see that, they're still going in, and oh. Nano's actually dealing a quite Barley. significant amount of damage. And the turret slowed him down. Flash is coming in from the breach as well, and now they need to actually push through because they have no choice but to do so. Oh, just... what? 4K! That's a 4K. Oh my goodness. I want to point out how beautifully that was done. The turret was seared. The Nano's form was seared as well. Now they get to pick up the guns for free. And yes. all of them have guns right now. That was such an amazing round for them. Uh, the Nano Swarm was there. The turret slowed yes. them down. The alarm board actually triggered them as well. And this is also one of the reasons why Killjoy is so good. And this is also one of the reasons why you need to do your research. If you know that's a Killjoy on the enemy team, you have to just try to pick a agent that can clear all those things mm. really easily like like uh sova for example sova uh shock dust can actually destroy yes. the uh, utility that uh, killjoy has yeah wow just that's the thing i guess <laughs> parley has been doing this since day yeah. one and just not just even the utility she's peeking at the right times getting those spray outs even though it's just the specter she makes it work and it's really smart. I mean, I love that she's uh, keeping them on their toes. Usually we see her set up the turret over on the crates. Now she swapped it over onto the right side. Mm. Yeah, don't forget that the Lombard actually increases the damage uh, when mm. you get triggered by Vulnerable. it. Vulnerable. Yeah, so that's why the Spectre was Ooh, so strong in my... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> she's so far back. There's no way she's yeah. going to push this through. Oh, they're thinking about it right now. Thinking they're waiting for the it. wall to actually go down. Once it falls, though, that's the thing about b site. You got so many... Two angles, at least, to, to watch out for. Like, and, that, and those are only the common ones. Now the Sage player just holding from back of sight. Looks like Hanbu Babes are looking to make this execute happen anyway. Jiggle a little, take a couple of taps. The Killjoy comes in as well. And they're going to have to go in fast and hard on this one. Trades coming oh. back and forth. Mavs takes down Lupio. They were so smart. 30 seconds left. That was such a smart play there coming from Amubeis. We, I will just have to talk about it after this round. Right now, they at least get the bomb planted as well on A side. Oh. Barley yet again as well, Barley. I mean, they kind of just lined up, but still. That was such a smart play though. So what they did was they actually get the diffuse, I mean, they get the flashes over here. They made sure they cover this side as well. And the moment they cleared this side, instead of holding down B, then proceeded to the right mm. side. But then again, they were f forgot that there was someone actually on A side, right? And while they thought the idea was making them rotate as fast as possible, and having their knives out, and while they're rotating, they were, they were thinking like, they're trying to go B? No, instead they rushed towards A, a from B. Yes. And then Liu Pu actually got caught up from that. So luckily for Liu Pu, Liu Pu, she got her guns out. So mm. she was ready to at least, get, at least get one more kill, so. And that's the thing, you want to be ready for any situation yeah. whatsoever. But of course, Anbu, they're definitely doing a good job keeping uh, BHBD on their toes. You gotta expect the unexpected, and that's the thing. So, looking to do a little bit of damage. Just suppressive fire over in mid. They should know that Arena is always here. That's why yeah. they're already. Mikasa actually looking, looking to the right side. Flash is coming in as well. Oh, Support maybe not. Calypso, maybe. I don't think they're going to be flashing this. I think they're just going to go in. Maybe, I'm not really sure. I don't think so, though. Could be Doesn't a similar like strat. The wall has gone yeah. down, and yep, the Casey sources out Pin Pong. She goes down. And now they're going to try to see if they can actually just uh, make some noise here on B side. Instead, Casey going to the shadows. She's uh, okay. Yeah, she's going to be hurt, so they're just going to go see. And the rotation's coming in. So smart! That. It's like a little bit of a distraction as well. And now, oh, Amy actually will take down Mayuri. But this gave them the sight. C is open for takings. Spike should be going down any second here. Still though, 3v3 retake. Bep is ready for it. Flash is coming in. They hit it though, they won't be able to be that fast. Oh! She just won the close range battle. Although, they did reposition themselves to uh. 2 This could be iffy. Lupio goes for the peak, but she will get spotted out first by Calypso. Winning that duel. This is going to make things a little bit harder for Bep to retake the site now. Although she is on site. McCasey and Calypso can definitely 
put her in a pinch right now. Taking a couple of shots. Look at this. The flag coming in. I don't think Bab knows. <gasps> oh, what? Ring around the Rosie. <laughs> but Rick McCasey will actually win that one. We were talking about how these matches were actually would actually be somewhat of a you know top level, and I am actually kind of impressed, impressed by yes. by these two teams currently right now. They like going neck to neck here at the moment, and and I'm gonna be honest with you, Anbu babes, they have strategies and plans. Yes. You can definitely tell that they have strategies and plans laid out for this specific match for for this specific map as well. Yeah, you can definitely see they are coordinated and they have these sort of adaptable executes that they go for. Hmm. They, yeah, ooh. Interesting to how Leap was not going to be buying the gun right now. Mm, Instead, she's going for a Spectre. Yeah, going to a Spectre or Barley can actually buy up for her as well. Mm. Maybe just a little bit of miscommunication there. I'm not really sure. Well, well, not too bad. Still, you can definitely see there's this sort of... Uh, Back and forth right now. Bap actually will have to fall back just a bit to both battle buddies <laughs> coming out. But the aftershock as well, which is delay the push coming in though. But for Catherine coming from long and now the run it back as well to push uh, BHBD even further back. Barley though actually looking to do some damage from heaven once more. And that's a little bit of intel. Look at that. The spike does go down. That is going to be a bit of a trade. Oh, the tripwire. Man should be aware of this. Mm. Not just dancing a little bit back and forth. Get Intel once more. Just slow down the push. And Calypso. Hello. Ami will fall. It's all up to pin pong. And yep. Anbu Babes take it. Five to two. Yeah. That was a very convincing round. Specifically from the side of Anbu Babes. But they did manage to take three of them down. At least. Uh, just hurting their economy. Just a tiny bit. Um, but this time around, they wouldn't be able to buy their guns out yet again as well. But at least, I mean, Ami is still not being able to, able to buy anything whatsoever. Not even a armor because kind of hurt. Kind of painful right now. Bali with 12-6. Catherine, look at the score all across the board coming up from the side of uh, BHB D. But hey, babe, they're pretty much even when it comes to scores. Mm. And the kills-wise. Somewhat even. And uh, I think one of the reasons why we see this... Ooh, uh, just a little bit. I mean, this is also where the Spectre would shine close range. That's true. High fire. But, uh... Thinking about it, though. We've seen this uh, similar position. We, we always have Barley over on C. But you have an Operator now as well. Mm. On Mikesi. Looking for the kill over onto Ami. I mean, she usually wants to put her wall up, you but this run. time might not be able to do so. Barley will activate the Killjoy. Lockdown. Forcing them back, but you know, this could signal to them, okay, well, let's just rotate over to A. We get them to spend the utility, okay. another side is open. One door closes, another one opens up, and now Beth will be looking to do some damage, but Mario was ready for it first, and now we have bullets flying all over the place. And BHBD not looking so good, only two players remaining. The spike has been dropped, but you know, they can still pick it up and go get it planted. Just a little bit of time. Barley now, once again, over on Heaven. Spike planted. Yeah, Heaven's definitely one of the maps that's kind of difficult to actually penetrate, I mean, uh, defend through because it, there's three bomb sites, right? So it's, it's not as easy as the other maps like Ascent or even uh, Bind. Uh, I mean, we don't even need to talk about Split because that's a very city <laughs> side of map. But Haven, yeah, Haven's definitely more favored towards the attacking side, especially when you're forced to rotate three different mm -hmm. sites. So it's really difficult for you to hold it down. But you won't see a lot of people trying to push through that B bombsite because there's so many angles to cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so you usually see C or A. But in this kind of situation, you kind of would expect not to go to C. You kind of like had to uh, force them to use their utilities on C because yep. there's a Killjoy there. So uh, so A has been pretty successful yes. for the side of Anbu Babes. Definitely so. I mean, almost three rounds in a row, I think. Yeah. I don't, see I don't think he's gonna. She's gonna peek. Mm. I don't. I don't think she's I gonna peek. I hope not. I don't think she's gonna peek. A little peak. bit baiting it out yeah. with the early shot. And you can definitely see Anbu Babes. They're going for this sort of uh, strategy where they want to bait out the utility first and then get the site to be opened up. You can see they're not trying to commit to C whatsoever because they know that Barley's over there. So far, though. Banhai by that they have been playing the same positions time and time after again. 
Bin Pong's always over in garage, and no Ami falls, and this could signal to them that B is open. All they need to do is smoke out those angles that they want to cover. Yeah, look at this closely as well. Ping Pong's not moving at oh. the same time. The kiss is ready for her. The thing is that Ping Pong has been there for like yeah. the past maybe eight rounds, and it's pretty obvious that Ping Pong's yep. always in that position, and they need to figure out whether they need to switch out their positions or not. Because I don't think it's working very well for them right now. Oh, Popping yeah. the shield stopper, not going to get any kills out of that. Now Catherine just moving left. through. Barley will be able to get one, but Barley taking a lot of damage already. Only 30 HP remaining. Might figure out and whether they want to save this gun or not, but I think that's a better idea. One versus four, and she's only 30 HP. I don't think there's hope. Oh. She hears the footsteps. Looking for it. Oh, but Catherine White swinging it, and Barley just yeah. won't be able to swing her cross her just enough. I think she was trying to get exit frags out of yes. that plant, but I don't think it's even possible due to the fact that they're probably going to try to like rush uh, Bali down knowing that she's pretty low on HP. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the new Sage. It's very hard for you to get a rear res off. The wall is kind of like really weak right now, especially when you only use the wall to actually stop the push from coming through mid. And even if you pop the wall mid, the enemy team on B mid probably going to be ready to shoot it down already. Yeah. So now she's not going to be able to buy any only buying the wall, not even having enough money for the next round to buy anything else. Yeah, no slow orbs. Yeah. Just waiting for the full buy. -in. And that could be better for them in the long run. But and they know that this is going to be an eco round for them, so they'll just try and yeah. see if they can actually just penetrate through the garage. And I think they hit one. <laughs> I'm not really sure. There is a delay. So you can <laughs> see the rain are actually moving to a tail instead. And that's a good thing. I mean, that's yeah. what we want to see. <laughs> yeah. At least they know what now, they're doing. Of course, they know that they're on eco. They're looking oh. to... Push but in babe, hard and fast. Gun, oh, oh, uh oh, 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 no, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, what? A <laughs> little bit of a way, heal coming in, okay, just in the nick of time. But Catherine now, she's ready for this. A little bit of a heal. Okay, they bought enough time. The spike yeah. has already gone down to 5v5 retake. Pistols against rifles, though. Uh oh. So just waiting for someone to push out of the garage window. And this could be her opening. Connecting those shots. Two headshots back to back. And Mayuri with the showstopper as well. And another rifle kill onto Bep. And now it's all up to Ami. Uh-oh. Catherine looking for the headshot. And of course they take it. Eight wins. Flawless victory. Yeah, that was... That was kind of interesting. Uh, you know, rally coming up from... I do believe it's going to be Bep as well as Catherine. I'm I was like trying to figure out like with who's going to die first. I'm surprised actually Catherine surviving throughout all that. Uh, but I guess the Spectre is not really doing her justice at that specific round. But no, it's perfectly fine. They played that decently, I would say. Yeah. But it was still a flawless coming up from Anbu Babes. It was, yeah. But you can definitely see. So BHBD now they think uh, they they realize their mistake. Let's switch things up a bit now. Barley's ha uh, she has her setup over on Garage. Pin Pong playing over an A short. And hopefully, just hopefully, this will work out in their favor. The concussive shock, though, will force Ami to fall back just a bit. She wants to go for the peak here. Oh, but Mikasi spots her out first. Now B could be open for Ambu Babes to push right through. And once again, you know, we have seen them go crazy with these executes. Now they're actually pushing into A as well, even though B is kind of open. Just keeping BHBD on their toes, they really don't know where they could go for exactly right now. Bab actually going for a bit of a flank, but Barley's alone over on B site. She's going to meet Catherine, and Catherine will take that duel. Emerging victorious. Now it's all up to Bep once again with her lone specter. Yeah, her, comprom her position has been compromised as well due to the tripwire. Right now, at least may maybe just want to try to see... Oh, oh! Maybe not! This might actually be doable unless Catherine actually managed to come from behind here. Oh. Yeah, Catherine will be able to do so and get that kill. Now it's going to be 92. It's going to be last round before the swap. And I'm going to be honest with you, Anbu Babes right now showing themselves to be quite worthy of the uh, semi-finalist here. Yeah, really, really worthy. I mean, BHBD, we've seen them actually be pretty strong on defense, yeah. especially Barley, but... Anbu Babes, the the sort of strats they have coming into this, it really keeps BHBD guessing. They don't know which site they're going to hit, and they really don't know how to defend to it. They need to find an answer. I mean, it's the last round. 
So if they go 10-2, it's going to be quite difficult for them to actually see if they can at least get a couple of rounds for this eco round. Because, you know, the moment you see that double digit on the enemy team, mm. uh, oh, because they actually oh. picks off Liu Pio. Uh, but yeah, the moment you see the double digit before the next round, uh, before the next half, it's kind of demoralizing for your team as well. Yeah. That's a lot of rounds to win if they want to come back. Just towing the line. That's kind of a weird wall, but uh, the dark cover there will hopefully just buy them enough time to possibly get the rotate. If we can see Ping Pong and Ami actually still holding out on uh, and they finally get a res. Finally get the res. We've decided. It looks like Anbu Base will be pushing into B really fast, really hard. The smokes are up, the spike goes down, and that's the entire site secured. Be hard to defend though, and Barley will find Mayuri. Oh my god! Trying <laughs> to get a kill with the boom bot instead. Oh my yeah. gosh! Four v three retake. Judge Judy. Oh no! Honestly, doing a lot of work with the operator now, but she's alone. <laughs> okay. Thirty HP. She just ate that grenade. Oh! She could do it actually. And now with the from the shadows, she could definitely reposition herself just enough. But Ami actually. Oh! Uh. Uh oh, 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 wait, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what was that? What was? Oh my goodness gracious me. Ah, uh, that is unlucky. Oh my goodness. That was such. I don't know whether that's big brain play or is it a mistake. I'm not really sure what happened, but it is what it is. And uh, Mikasa actually managed to clutch that round out. She actually managed to clutch. And, and with an operator, no, no less. <laughs> I'm not really sure if your body is actually like missing the moment you want to TP. I'm not sure if that's the case. Um, but if that's the case, Mikase probably made a big brain play there. That was Yeah, that was some galaxy brain stuff. I mean, yeah. the From the Shadows forced Ami to go looking for her. But Ami wasn't aware that she... I mean, she had to have been. No, you, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but at the same time, you don't know whether she's going to stick on that TP or not. Mm. You know? I guess Mikasi was just faster. Pretty much. Now That's a big brain. Two. That was galaxy brain right there. It really was, man. Oh my god. Universe. I'm still in shock. I... <laughs> man. Well, now the pistol fight will be going through over on A long and A short as well. It looks like I'm moving actually. Ooh, one HP, but Mayuri doing some damage as well, actually. Taking two before falling herself. And of course, the support coming in from Heaven once more. Although it seems like McCasey will actually be oh, alive. No. Catherine is trying to connect her shots. Oh my god, look at that loop oh, falls over heaven. <laughs> Catherine. Catherine. Yeah, if you look at the scores here right now, Catherine is on Mikasi leading the pack here with 14 and 15 kills. Mm -hmm. Mayuri trailing behind 12. Calypso and May doing a really good job with their utilities as well. And Ping Pong actually bought up a gun. I mean... I mean, it's, it's. I guess, not really sure if this is a, a a good idea to actually do this. But you know what? I'm not gonna judge them because they are the players, and I'm not. Maybe. But, <laughs> it's uh, possible. I mean, she's got the sheriff. She's got yeah. the heavy armor. So looking to do some damage, pr possibly secure. Uh, I mean, in these kind of situations, you know what? You might as well just you know lose this yeah, map and then just go for the next round, right? Exactly. Oh no! But look at that. Uh, she they're pushing falls in right away. Yeah, they're pushing in. This is smart plays coming up from them as well. They know that they're probably gonna try to eco this or buy out. Yeah. Oh, that's the sheriff over to his hands, and you know how accurate she's been so far. Barley will actually take down Catherine, but look at this. The support coming in from the other side as well, and they've got them sandwiched. Just like that, the full firing squad descending upon them, 12 to 2 already. Yeah, in this kind of situation, you might as well just um, lose this map and then go to the next one. It is a best out of three, though. You know, instead of just trying like uh, waste all your energy on this specific map, try to go for the next one and then make it even better for yourselves and try to like relax just a little bit. So uh, calm yourselves down, de-stress yourselves, go into the next one, get it, get it back, and then maybe bring it to one to one. Hmm. I think that definitely could be yeah. a possible thing. That just looks like, you know, you can see that Catherine's pushed up all the way up front into C-Long Cubby. It looks like Ping Pong is aware of this, though. But of course, Casey coming in with the support. Ooh, the paint shells. Just 
gonna do a little bit of damage, baiting out the alt orb. But of course, with the higher firepower coming in from Anbu Babes. This round should be there as the fire's coming through. Trading back and forth. 3-3 three to three now. One v2. Calypso takes her down. Now it's off to on. Maybe we'll get this. Defender yeah, and that's pretty much it for the first map on Haven. Ambu Babes takes it 13 to 2. Very convincing for themselves. I'm not really sure whose pick this map is. Um, but I feel like it would be such it would make more sense if this was actually Ambu um, yeah. Babes uh, map, map pick. Uh, but at the same time I feel like you know, they kind of need to figure out what they need to do here right now um for the side of uh, but hey, Baydeb, I felt like there was a lot of miscommunication. But at the same time, you're playing against a team like Anbu Babes, man. Mikasi, Catherine, and, and pretty much every single one on the side of Anbu Babes have been performing exceptionally well on the first map of the first the, the, the first day as well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Man, don't go anywhere. I mean, this is only the yeah. first map out of a best of three. If anything, hopefully. Uh, BHBD will re recalibrate themselves and you know figure out what's going yeah. wrong. Uh, you know. Yeah. Shout out I to our sponsors, by the way. We yes. do have uh, uh, Dreamcall, Dream uh, Yahoo, which is we're streaming on Yahoo right now yep. as well. And we also have Super, Super Solid, Solid as well as Intel. So we're gonna go for a short break. When we come back, we Next will map. begin with map number two. Stick around, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome back to map number two of. Uh, Bunhei Beida versus none other than Anbu Babes. And Anbu Babes took it very convincingly. I think it was 13-4, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, 13-4. Yeah, and uh, I've seen a lot of really good plays from specific plays as well. Catherine as well as Mikase as well. And Bali, man, she's trying her best. But you know what? The better team was just Anbu Babes right now. What a match that we... I mean, what a map that we had earlier on. Now, this time it's going to be Ascent instead. Mm -hmm. And judging from their composition as well, they're still keeping it the same on the side of uh, Banhei Beidab. Same agent composition, but, uh, you know, it could work out for them. But uh, I think it's important to note, so earlier on Haven was actually Banhei Beidab's uh, pick. Oh. So, on Boo Babes, this is their map pick, which is Ascent. And uh, I think they could definitely have something in store. We haven't seen uh, much of this map just yet, but right could definitely be interesting. So far, looks like they're going to have uh, that Sova play coming on defense. Yeah, and it's interesting how the Sova play is usually, I mean, it's going to be playing A. Eclipse is playing A instead, because I feel like B would be much suffice uh, for Sova to actually play on B due to the fact that you can actually get really good... Uh, Info on mid as well as B sites, and uh, yeah, oh well, I guess they know where they're coming from right now, Calypso. And then Catherine actually moving towards B back and uh, closing the door down, not allowing them to come through market, which is really smart, I would say so. And this time around, Mikasi as well as Mayuri is there, they don't have the ghost though, but Mikasi is just pulling oh. through here right now, one on one situation here. They actually know, never mind, it's gonna be one versus three. Mikasi actually falls back. Oh. Oh, okay. get shot in the head. I think that's going to be a very, very quick round here. For the side. Unless they're going B, which is kind of interesting how they're still going B. Well, all four of them up against one Medge with a single ghost, but she could definitely do something here. One headshot, two, and she could still be in this. Oh, look at that. What? Three kills back to back already, and she's looking to win this retake. Oh, no. I don't think you want to pick that fight. Oh my, what? Lupio just looking to dodge things out, but look at that. Wall bang and a half, and all of a sudden she's just as low. A single shot to the body, and it's gonna seal the deal! That's a 1v4 retake! This is only the first round! What? I was actually... <laughs> you know? Ay, 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 ay. That will actually hurt them so hard. The morale of their team must be such in a huge deficit here right now. I don't understand why they still decided to go to B. They could have actually just was went for A, get the plant there, and then forced them to actually retake that 1v4. But they instead, they really wanted to go to B. They lost a lot of utilities there, and not to mention, they also lost their ghosts as well that they bought earlier on. And this time... 
This they must be as, hey, yo, May must be feeling it right now. She's like, you know what? Yo, bring it on. I'm just gonna hold this side all alone. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Look at B, she's all alone here. I mean Catherine is there in mid, but still, man, that must be hot. Man, oh man, I she's comfortable. Like that's just <laughs> my aim is on point. I got this. BHBD though, that was Yo, not to mention, we were, we were talking about a Cypher, by the way. She does not have that much. She used pretty much everything that she had. She only so had a camera, which was like 20 seconds on cooldown. Exactly. That was like all marksmanship. And BHPD, I mean, that was a 4v1. They could definitely have just all four peak. Like, wh why turn it into 1v1? Mm. All the t just I have no clue. Yeah, well, so this is going to be the second round instead. This time around, you know what's interesting? They lost the round, and Ami actually decides to buy... A Marshall, well, there, whereas the rest of the team still has guns still. I mean, a pistol actually. Mayuri actually managed to take down one. Mayuri get the double kill here onto its short. No armor whatsoever coming out from the side of Van Hei Bay Depp. And now they're still trying to figure out whether they want towards a main here. I think Silva will actually manage to see them. Oh. One, two! Finishing up really cleanly with the Spectre as well. Did not take a single damage at all. And that is the second round here for the side of Anbu babes and wow 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 and right now economy why is it gonna hurt at the moment I mean actually I think uh, what was the reason why she actually bought it because I felt like maybe she doesn't really favor rifles so that's why she's been buying spectres a lot mm, possibly yeah well looks like we also have a little bit of a switch uh, from ping pong looks like she actually went with a sheriff oh no okay. uh, yeah she bought the uh yeah she can actually okay. still buy it okay. <laughs> yeah, don't stop going now. well Hopefully this is going to be their first full buy round onto this map. Looking to do something. Just take one round away and stop on Boo Babes in their tracks. Don't let them gain the momentum, but going with this A split. Tired of your mid has been smoked out. Now looks like Ami will be pushing into this one with the rear. But look at that. The, the boom bot slowly takes down a bit, but Ami will actually win that duel. Now they're looking to push Calypso further back into the side. But Casey actually coming in with a support, though, from the side. And she took down two Calypso again. Just another spray down with the Spectre. Now Rufio will be overrun, and that's... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. This is not just about uh, your your marksmanship or what you like your skills or whatever alone. It's not about teamwork anymore. It's all about momentum. And Anbu Babes are feeling it currently right now. They're playing it very smart. They're playing it very safe as well on defense, on ascent. And map pick-wise, I mean, agent pick-wise as well, they have a Silver and a Cypher. That's a lot of information given and also received coming from the backside. I was talking about earlier on why Silver is not playing B, but I feel like they already have a Cypher. So it makes more sense for the Cypher to actually play B instead of the Silver. Just unstoppable right now. So once more... BHBD will have nothing but pistols. We do have a sheriff though. Possibly looking to secure a weapon. But look at all that intel that she uh that May can definitely pick up here with his cypher cam. Definitely heard the shots. Signaling to her that this could definitely be a B push. We do have Lupio lurking on the back though. In case anyone comes in with a flank. goes in, but look at this. Catherine is ready. Patience will force, uh, force her to fall back just a bit, but May. Look at that. Two headshots back to back. Looking to do a little bit more. Three is better. Can she get the fourth? She will. This girl. What? This girl is on fire. That's all I can say about this girl right now. May is just on point at the moment here with this cypher plays the one way is as well and you know one of the situations where you actually put your camera here this forces them to actually look up to find the camera usually you see a camera here usually you see a camera here as well but putting a camera here forces the enemy team to actually try to find where the camera is yeah. and when you look up it's That's gonna be hard for you to actually look through uh ct or market as well smart plays are coming up from may very very smart it's not just smart but oh. Okay. okay, I was talking about her one way, so she kind of <laughs> missed it there. I think she's like, I'm feeling it right now! But, uh, yeah, it's well, just one okay. mistake. It's fine, it's fine. Dude, by the way, you nailed that high note. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> and now Maryu is nailing all her shots as well. Ami falls once more. And they're just looking to do so much here. Boobot, a little bit of a waste there. Just 
falling back. The shock darts forcing her to fall back as well. The <laughs> what? They are just unstoppable. I'm looking at this push here on <laughs> Bev Jesse's side. So you know what? <laughs> I'm going to just back up from here for a little bit. I don't think this is actually smart, but Catherine will be able to take down Ping Pong. And now the only one alive is going to be Bep as well. Now these spots where Mikase is, but she's all alone. I don't think she's going to actually try to push this through, but she might actually try to save this gun, which is a smarter play, I would say. Right now, 4 0 is still pretty early, so it's not that difficult as well. Oh, actually, no. hold on to this. Go! Oh, the timing! Kay. She was out of ammo! She was out of ammo. That's why I have to do. just tap blindly, but Calypso now, knowing that she's over there, <laughs> right in the back of their spawn. Going out for that peak, and that was the Kirin the fifth win. Dude, Andrew Bay was just. just better. Man, you put it into really good words there. Yeah, they're just currently just owning right now at this point. Absolutely owning it. So, just. I have. Okay. Like, don't, not to mention, you brought a point earlier on. Haven was actually their map pick, right? For Bunhe Bay Dev, and now this time around, it's going to be a sense which is. Undo Baby's map pick. And they're not really feeling it right now. Oh, look at that. The firefight once more. Catherine falls this time, but Mayuri will trade things up. Making it even, Steven. 3-3. Three three. Ah! Oh. oh. That was close. Just a bit. So they do have mid control at this point. Possibly looking to push through... Not sure what that Leer was for, but, you know, just extra security. Are you really looking to cut them off at the rotate now? The Chip Warrior will actually compromise the position as well here on mid. And it's on Hatsune Pot as well. Let's go oh. for it, but just a slight fence actually... What? Ew! Oh! Oh! Beb coming back here! And there you go! Beb with the 3k in that round, taking it with the showstopper as well. A double kill with that ultimate. Natsuko is going to be 5-1. They're not out yet. Not out just yet. I mean, if they keep things up, they'll definitely be back into this. That's the first win that they have had so far. Definitely forcing Anbu Babes to rethink their strategy. Like, not, not. let's not be too overconfident Yeah, here. yeah, definitely. So looking at Anbu Babes with their setup so far, it's the same thing. We always have uh, the Cypher over on B with that very, very interesting camera. Calypso over on Sova at A. And once again, you've talked about this before with the set. Catherine pushing up how fast and hard with the support as well from May. And that's the run it back just doing all that work for her right there. And all of a sudden, the mid control that they were so desperately looking for, it's messed up. But at least they have the Resurrect here. They're going to be able to bring Beb back. We're just currently leading in 5-6-1. I mean, it is a negative score, but at least she's getting the frag. So the last thing you should do is actually stop her from getting the frags. And Calypso oh. gets one. Deals some damage towards... And so it's, uh, on the stage as one. Now this time around, it's going to be Mayuri spotting the last one as well. Hitting the hit shots onto his mommy. And Barley takes one more down with the Vandal as well. Forcing to fall back. Location has been revealed. Uh -oh. Mayuri comes in from the side. Takes her down pretty easily. There's going to be a 3k here for this round itself. 6 to 1 to score here. 5 point lead on this. What might be the last map of this match? Definitely. I mean, if, if Ambu Babes keeps this up, this definitely could be the very last map of this entire match. Yeah. What do you think uh, Bahai by Depp needs to do to you know, mix things up and, and, and take more rounds away from uh, Ambu? I feel like they kind of need to just keep rotating, make them keep guessing on the side of uh, Anbu Babes instead of just rushing through one bomb side. Try to get that mid control as well because you have an omen and also at the same time you kind of have a killjoy as well. So why not, you know, make that work? And right now Ami does have the operator skills as well. Also at the same time, they should maybe try to focus more on the defensive side. Right now they are attacking. They have the killjoy. Also they have the stage as well. So playing a little bit slower could be better. Ooh. That little jiggle. Ami wins that duel. Yeah. This could very well open up A for him. So now, Ami does have the operator. The entry frag has been dealt. Forcing a lot of utilities being uh, used here. Spots one more on top heaven. Calypso needs to play it a little bit safer here as well. Hopping their ulties just for good measure. 
And the mid push has been spotted as well. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. They're, they're fine. They're fine. They're okay. They're okay. <laughs> but look at this. So they pretty much have A secured now, and they yeah. should be getting the spike in, but they took a little bit too much time. Oh, no. And now Calypso has all this intel. She's looking to stop the plant. And not even that, just taking those kills back to no, back. Oh. Okay, I thought that was the enemy team. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. My heart. Now Beb can't even come through because of the hot hands that's been laid down, stopping the push coming in. And now Catherine just playing it safe as well. Right now, 7 to 1 Discord. At least they managed to save one more gun for themselves. But this time around, they wouldn't be able to buy up the guns as well because Ping Pong, Bali, as well as Army, they're down low on economy. And I feel like the better idea right now is to save this round, not buy any guns, and then go to the next round, try to win three rounds in a row, making an 8 4. It's perfectly fine. And then when you have a Sage and a Killjoy on your team, it makes it a little easier for you to actually stop the pushes. But they don't have. The, the intel that they can gather, just like mm. May as well as Calypso. These two agents, especially on Ascent, so, so key. So, so key, and you definitely said it right there. I mean, if we look at how uh, Anbu Babes are defending so far, the, the intel that provides is just so, so crucial. Just like that, they already know whether uh, BHBD are over on B main or A main at all. But looking ah. at this, Ami actually will be able to sneak in undetected, taking down Mikasi, and that's just the uh, developable operator gone from the roster. And we have a huge firefight. Beb will actually trade things up, though. But May still with the Odin. Oh, man. Yeah, there, there was definitely miscommunication there. Now it's going to be a 1v1 situation she here. Pick up a rifle. Yeah, she needs to pick up the rifle. Yep. She picks up the rifle. She has a Vandal right now. Nine ammo, though. She can't oh. pop the reload. Oh, the timing in. Oh, she heard, heard the reload. She heard the reload. She, yeah, she heard the reload. Uh -huh. That's really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Not to mention the bomb was at mid as well. And, uh, man, that's going to be a harsh, harsh round there for the side of... I'm, actually, it's perfectly fine because they kind of eco that round as well. They didn't buy much guns, and they managed to take up a lot of frags as well on that specific round. Kind of just maybe hurting the economy just a little bit. This should do. Just a bit. But even then, they've won so many rounds. So this is a really good um, Cam camera because you can actually see through mm -hmm. here. And uh, and also at the same time, I feel like if you can actually put up here as well to make sure you can actually see from top and make them actually look up on top. But whoa, 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 whoa. This ping pong's playing up now. I mean, they have been peeking short just yeah. a little bit, so... But it seems like my we oh, oh. does not get a kill, but Flash is coming in. Calypso gets one frag. Oh, and Mikasi as well comes in, gets another frag. And this time around, May does have the Odin as well. It takes a specific amount of damage as well. It's gonna be a team ace. Oh, oh. no! I don't <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> get away with two HP. The turret. All right, all right, all right. All right. But still, Anvu Babes, look at that. It's it's an eight round 14-3 right now, the score here. I feel like Anvu Babes is probably like the, one of the most entertaining teams that we've actually currently uh, been yeah. casting here throughout the whole yeah. tournament itself. They're showing a lot of different strategies that yes. we also kind of could learn for ourselves as well. Absolutely. And now May once again with the Odin. Oh, but Beb will actually win that duel right this time. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to get actually play the Odin, especially when you don't aim downside. You kind of need to right click that. More used for suppressive fire, not so much just one on one duels. The rifle will win that one. And Casey once more going for the peak. She knows that Lupio is there. Oh, wow, Lupio. It's all about timing just there. A little bit disoriented. They're no longer on the sides, looking to rotate and just to figure out where the HPA are exactly. In case he whiffs that first shot, so we'll be able to reposition. No way. No, Lupio. She should have known that maybe Makasi would have pushed through. She should, yeah, she should have known that. Calypso is really low on HP. Just one Phantom Bullet will actually deal damage and take him down. I mean, if anyone can do it, Barley can. Oh. oh. And it's gonna be a 1v1 situation here. Mikasi does have the operator, but the bomb is on B. 30 seconds left. 
So Mikasi has the advantage here. All she needs to do is to secure these angles. But finally, okay, that's gonna be. All right. I mean, it it is an overkill, but you know what? What works works. You know what I'm saying? What works works. But even then, she needs to secure the skill because look at the timer. She only has 10 seconds left, and the kill the, the lockdown Ten takes three more seconds. What, Mikasi? Oh my gosh. Oh. This girl is unstoppable. Yeah, that that round was kind of questionable coming up from Bali. Uh, I felt like she didn't look at the time, and at the same time, uh, that Killjoy ultimate could have been utilized for the next round, which is the last round before the swap. And uh, yeah, now they're kind of like low on economy as well. And Ping Pong just bought up the sheriff instead of a uh, a, a proper gun. It could have actually bought up the uh, Spectre instead with the ghost. Way way expensive. And now, now, now they have double ops on the defensive side. Over. Mm. Oh my gosh! And the run it back as well. Uh, Catherine looking to source out some info. Yeah. I think they hear it. Uh oh. I'm not really sure about that, but uh, I think they might have some miscommunication there. Now I May exactly does get one. Pops the ulti. Neural Steps comes through. They're gonna be able to find that. Mayu gets a frag here with the ultimate. We'll be able to find out where the last enemy is. And now, once again, she's trying oh. to resurrect. She, she wants some Ami? company. Ami Wave's just I hope Ami's moving this, this time. I hope she is. Yeah, yep, she, she is. is. Yeah, she is. Oh, oh connecting oh, the shots. Oh. One more. <laughs> okay, there you go. Ami does it. She does have the heal as well. Can pick up the gun for her, sir. So and not to mention, May is really low. One enemy but still. Oh, no. Oh, my I timing. And now that's gonna be the last round of the, f oh sorry, <laughs> of the first <laughs> half. <laughs> but uh, Thanks. man, Anvu. You know, that's why they're Anvu, like right, if we watch Naruto, right? Probably they're coming in, assassinating every single one, and just it's not just that the strategy as well. Usually we see the Sova playing over on B, which is like that strategy that's popularized by Sinatra, but uh, you know. Cypher works just as well. Yeah, I mean, in this map specifically, Ascent, you, you will probably play Cypher on B more because there's a lot of angles that you need to cover with that site itself. And it's also really easy to clear the trip wires on A main. Mm. So now, hopefully, uh, BHBD. Come on, give us something. Work up a strategy. Looks like. We do have Barley over on D. Lupio. Oh my god, let's follow this. It's gonna fall and land. Wow. Okay, but Lupio will just take that one right out. She is supported by Ami. Just hopefully that uh, shallow dark cover will force them to push right through, but look at that. The support coming in from Calypso as well will double peek in it. Oh, the Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Sight. No! Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. And that's a boom bar, by the way. That one isn't even pain shells. Oh. It's not looking good at all. We can talk a little bit about that specific strategy that they had, the shock that along with the boom bar. So they kind of knew that they were coming through heavens. So that dealt a lot of damage from them. A lot, a lot of damage. Like, look at it. <laughs> They're just nah. <laughs> pulling out the L Classico. Doesn't even need to right click. Oh. There you go. Mayu gets a triple kill in that specific round. And uh, this is going to be the last round here, unless they come back from this. But I don't really think that's going to be really easy here from Banhei Bay Depp because they seem to be currently having some difficulties at winning some rounds here for both maps, actually. And this yeah. is a single elimination map and match as well so if they lose this it's pretty much out of the tournament pretty much out and uh, not to mention the momentum that Anbu babes have coming into this match i mean let's just take a look at how many rounds they've won so far it's just unstoppable look at that just, just a little one round now the wall will do absolutely nothing for Van Hyve Dip. They have that mid control and they don't even need to smoke mid. And finally, they pop out the smoke here, not gonna allow them to actually have any vision whatsoever on mid. Pushing towards site itself right now. Mage actually leading the pack here. She's, she's feeling it right now. She knows that she's been performing exceptionally well in this match yeah. and map. Even before. Ami will be stop. able to stop him in the tracks here. Mayuri comes through on top heaven as well. 
Oh no! But a headshot misses it, but at least we'll be able to deliver. Bali comes from behind, and this is gonna be a 3 3 here, Kentro. Bali! Yeah! <laughs> Barley, Barley, Barley. Doing work, but you know what? I think May went a little bit too overconfident there. She went in with it. You don't really see a Cypher going to uh, entry. Yeah. And she, st uh, she dropped the spike back there, so now all of a sudden her team needs to go all the way in just to pick that back up. And of course, it's heavily, heavily fortified by uh, BHBD Ami. And yeah. that's that ADS. Yeah, beautiful cross air placement as well. She knew that she was going to come that way along with the hit shots. And at least this time around is going to give them a little bit of a momentum booster. They're still not out yet here. 12 2 to score. On the sense here of Anbu Babe, still match point. Still match point. They cannot give up a single round. It is single elimination, as you have pointed out. Definitely don't want to be out of this. So, <laughs> Anbu Babe is actually possibly force buying. May once again with a stinger. I mean. It's it's not as bad of an idea. They kind of like have to force by here awesome. and just try to finish it up. They don't have guns though, at least. I mean, they don't have armor though. But if they can actually manage to win this, I will be pleasantly surprised. But if it's anything, it should be Anbu Babes being able to do yeah. it. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a sti full stinger train pushing right through B main. Of course, that's over dark once more. Just a little bit of a jiggle. Push in along with the utility once more. And that just forced Lupio to reload. Okay. And it's now smart, yeah. They're forcing all the utilities being used yeah. here on site A. The wall and now they're going to rotate back towards mid. And there's no smoke in mid as well. No one's looking towards mid. How confident is this team? They're just Look pushing into that. mid. Doesn't need the smoke whatsoever. Going fast, going hard. Just pushing right through the market. They're all going in. It's the terrain. But of course, the turret now doing a little bit of damage. Stopping them, tagging them up as well. They get a bomb planted though, so that's gonna be 300 credits for them easily. Okay. No, holding this off angle. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. That is really unfortunate. But at least they got to do that. Might be too. They're both really banged up. I mean, even with the stinger, she could definitely win this. Yeah, because just look at their HP right now. Oh. <laughs> wow, oh, wow, wow. If that's not a statement, I don't know what is. That is a very clean uh, map and match, in fact, here from Anbu Babes, taking it 2 to 0. And back to back, we've seen clips made because both maps were extremely entertaining here by Anbu Babes. Did a really good job making really awesome plays as well. Super, super excited to see what they're going to be. Uh, doing next round as well here, Control. Super, super exciting. And uh, of course, man, just really, really stellar performance coming yeah. out from every single member from Anbu Babes. If we can see, look at the scoreboard. May, Calypso, Mayuri, every single one of them just showing up today. Yeah, um, I mean, we already know that they are actually pretty smart when it comes to utilizing those agents as well. May with the um, Cypher and also May earlier on, I think she was playing, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, Breach. Oh no, yeah, Calypso, Calypso was playing Breach. Breach. Yeah. And you can tell that these players are actually very, very experienced when it comes very. to their agents and they know what they need to do the with the agents tier. as well. And that is pretty much it for the first match of the day. We're going to be coming back with the semi-final. The first semi-final of the day itself. So if you want to Check that out. Do stay tuned. Shout out to the sponsors. We do have Dreamcall, Super Solid, Yahoo, as well as Intel. Don't go anywhere.